rice it's a very pepper rice it's so delicious so stay tuned you're gonna see how to prepare jenga rice but first of all i want to talk about the holy spirit today we are going to talk about the holy spirit from the book of first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 the Bible declares he has not given to us the spirit of the world, but the spirit of God, so that we may understand what God has given us. What does this mean? It means that there are two spirits craving for dominance in human life. There are two spirits in oppression. It's either the spirit of God controlling you or the spirit of the world. First of all, the spirit of God wants us to live a godly life according to the ways of God. And the other part of it, the opposite, is the spirit of the world. It keeps us in bondage. It wants us to go according to our flesh, to live according to the ways of the devil. Remember, Apostle Paul declares that what you don't want to do, you find yourself doing it. Which means there's another spirit compelling you to go against the will of God. Unfortunately, we cannot be controlled by two spirits. The Bible declares those who are led by the Spirit of God are called the sons and daughters of the Most High God. Even Jesus said that one person cannot serve two masters at the same time. For he will either like one more and hate the other. Beloved, so I want to ask you this question. What spirit controls your life? What spirit controls your day? Your ambition and your dreams? Romans 12 verse 1 and 2 declares, let your mind be continually transformed. So, my brothers and sisters, we need to live a godly life. We need to stop allowing the things of this life to pursue us. We need to follow the things of God, the ways of God. When we become Christians, when we become children of God, there must be an evidence that we are children of God. There must be a change in our lives to show that we no longer live our own lives. So, my brothers and sisters, we can only do this by spending time to study the Word of God, to become the student of God, to know exactly what God wants us to do, what He is instructing us to do. So, my family, we must build a relationship with God. We must build a relationship with the Holy Spirit. We must get to know the things of God. I want to let you know that many Christians don't know the Holy Spirit. But you have to know this, if we don't know the Holy Spirit, we will not be able to allow Him to guide us, we cannot hear Him, we cannot be able to understand His directions. So I urge you to get to know the Holy Spirit personally. Build a relationship with the Holy Spirit. It is only through the Holy Spirit that we can be able to discern false prophets. We can be able to discern false teachings. We can be able to discern things that are not towards God's direction. So, the only way to go through the ways of God is to build your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Make sure the Holy Spirit controls your life, tells you what to do night and day. Then, you'll be free from the trap of the devil. Thank you so much for listening. That has been the word from Time Words Friends. So, stay tuned. I'll take you to our kitchen. We're going to show you how to prepare jamla rice, or you can call it pepper rice. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. I'm going to show you how to do it. You see, we have lots of crayfish. That's what we call njanga. We have cubes. We have bay leaf, thyme. And then we have white and black pepper grind. You see red pepper, the hot pepper. We have um, shallots, garlic, ginger, parsley, all like grind. I'm trying to use grind ingredients because the only ingredient I want to shadow this food should be the crayfish is that you can see I still have pepper red pepper crushed because this dish is a spicy dish then we have tomato tomato will bring the color in it so the first thing to do is to warm your olive oil or vegetable oil and fry your tomato until it's not too sour so I'm going to put some salt in here to calm down the heat of the oil then I'm gonna put my shallot and I'm gonna put my tomato mmm looks so good nice color this color is going to 
bring out the beauty of the rice. So what we're going to do is to cover the pot to cook this tomato. So while the tomato is cooking, we are going to saute the shrimp. Remember, I don't like to just put meat or shrimp like that in food. I like to treat them separately so they taste good. We're going to saute the shrimp with some black pepper, white pepper, salt for it to taste. And shrimp is not supposed to be cooked a lot. So that's why we have to saute it and keep it by the side. And we can only bring back the shrimp at the end of the njanga rice so that it's not too cooked. Then the rice, you can use brown rice. I want to use white rice because my kids love white rice. You can also use brown rice if you want to. So I'm going to fry this rice. I am not going to just throw it in the pot like that. Watch and see. So now that the tomato is cooking, we still have some time. We are going to start by sauteing our shrimp on this corner. Right now I have white and black pepper with salt. I'm just going to throw in the shrimp. So I'm going to add parsley and celery in here. You see? It's so beautiful. Here we have parsley, celery, that's dried parsley and celery. We have lemon pepper in here as well. And then we also have garlic, dried garlic. I'm trying to use dried ingredients a lot because as I told you before, the only fresh ingredients that I have are going to be tomato and shallots. And then we also have our crayfish pepper bay leaves they are also dry ingredients so but this is what i do to saute this you see it looks so beautiful and it tastes so good mm, it smells good as well the lemon pepper is just making the shrimp smell so good i'm telling you you need to taste this rice you're going to love it the shrimp is almost ready you can see how the shrimp is coddling to itself and it has changed color and I have tasted it, it tastes so good so I'm gonna put off the heat and remove the shrimp then I'm gonna fry my rice in this same fry pan with all these ingredients in here I'm gonna use it to fry my rice watch and see see I've washed my rice wash your rice very well to take out some of the stash like I said you can use brown rice but I'm using white rice and you just pour the rice into the same pan you use in sauteing the shrimp with all the ingredients that were there and then I'm gonna add some salt in here to fry the rice so it can taste I'm gonna add some powder pepper I'm gonna add garlic ginger all the ingredients in small portions so the rice can fry and taste good watch and see Let's check our tomato. I'm going to add in our red pepper. I prefer to throw it like that because I'm trying to control the heat from the pepper. The kids are going to eat this. The rice is supposed to be hot. It's supposed to have heat. But remember, we have powdered pepper. So we want to be careful. So I'm going to cook this. Also, I'll treat it nicely so I can control my heat of the pepper. I can do one or two before I can see, test it and see if I should do the third one. And let's just cook this a little bit. Ten minutes, we should be ready with this. Watch and see. Check out this rice. It's frying now. We need to continue frying this rice like this until it looks like it's brown. Remember, it's frying and it's cooking at the same time. Rice is cooked with heat so the heat is cooking the rice and all the ingredients are cooking together you see it's fine i'm using a non-sticky pot so if you don't have you can keep adding water each time you are doing the fry just keep adding water keep add water so now i'm going to put a little bit of water so the rice will fry and cook as it goes along So I'm about to add the rice here, but I want to make sure that this is hot. I'm going to squeeze this pepper. I need two of this. The tomato looks almost ready. You don't need to cook it to be too ready because we are still going to put the rice in here. 
and cook together you see and now at this stage it looks ready for me i'm going to put in my crayfish you can squeeze the crayfish but i like it lumpy like this it's like fish you know we have gonna put shrimp in here so it's okay for me just put the crayfish like that i don't want it to be, to be in the powder form so fry this crayfish a little bit to bring out the crayfish flavor what we call njanga flavor don't let it to be too dark don't let it to burn just fry it to bring out the flavor in it in five ten minutes this is supposed to smell crayfish and so good so just keep stirring it like that as it fries so while that is going i'm going to put in all my dry ingredients now so i have my garlic you see this is my grand garlic i have some parsley i'm just gonna put everything now the small quantity one teaspoon each some grind garlic more chopped garlic has a lot of garlic lemon pepper it's a little bit then i have the powder pepper the red one a lot of it you want a heat and i have seasoning here with me to taste mm, i can smell the crayfish coming up see bay leaf white and black pepper grind and also thyme all in there so now just very nicely it already smells good it doesn't look so pretty but it smells so good now I think I like what I see now I'm going to pour in my rice first of all let's check the rice see you can use the same spoon that's fine see it's not cooked it's half cooked at this point I'm going to pour this rice in here then I'm add some water first of all let's add some water in here good and stir it then I'll pour the rice in here this is how the rice looks like when you mix it with a tomato and the crayfish it smells so good but the rice is not cooked yet so at this point I'm going to put some water a cup of water and stir it and close the pot put it on low heat don't put too much heat on this pot the rice will cook the heat remember the rice has been fried so i'm going to add one cup of water and close it time was spent kitchen is on fire my friends let's check our rice wow our rice should be ready see it's so hot now I think it's time for us to put our shrimp, our sauté shrimp. Just gonna put it in there, and of course, our masterpiece, njanga rice, pepper rice. Bye bye, bon appetit. Thank you.